What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we are taking a look at the France 2022 Premium Pack, which I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to end up buying. If I do end up getting coins and do buy a pack, I think I'm going to go for this one because they have probably three of the most like overpowered players in any of these packs, unless you are going for Neymar and Messi. I've already done the Argentina pack review, the Brazil pack review. You get a 99 rated Messi and you get a 97 rated Neymar, either of these packs. Look, lads, you don't need to spend coins. A lot of people that are watching these videos would be saying, oh, you know, I can't compete unless I spend coins. Literally, you can buy the standard version of Neymar and comparing him against this version of Neymar or this version of Messi versus his standard version of Messi, you're not going to be winning or losing games because you don't have these versions of the cards. You know what I mean? Like you can buy the standard versions and stay free to play. You get over 1 million GP in just one event this month or this week. So you can just do that and you can nearly afford to buy the two standard versions of these. Obviously, these are shiny cards or special edition cards and everyone likes shiny things, but you don't need to get these players. Their stats aren't like worlds away from their standard version. And it's the same with these, this French pack, right? This Benzema card is not like a godly card like I think it's a very decent card but there are you you know very very good strikers in the game that can compete with Benzema right but we're going to get into it because a lot of people have been asking me about it but as I keep repeating if you haven't checked out these player reviews and you are really interested I mean Messi and Neymar are just ridiculously good in this game and these versions of the cards are absolutely insane but the standard versions with a bit of time and a bit of grind and a bit of patience, you can get the cards really, really good as well. But we are going to start with this French pack, because as I said, a lot of you guys have been asking. It's 1,500 coins, which is pricey, but you are getting what you buy here. Um, you're getting 11 really top-class players that can make you know a big difference to your squad, especially if you're starting out. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, like, everyone is entitled to do what they want, whether they want to spin for coins or they want to stay free to play. I mean, that's the same as every aspect of life. You know, you can do what you want to do. Um... I always make the comparison, you know, of like, you know, buying, buying a, you know, a cheap McDonald's lunch for a tenner or buying a lovely steak dinner uh, for 30 quid. You know, they're both still satisfying your hunger. They're both still feeding you. They're both still keeping you alive. So it's up to you guys with whatever you want to do. But I'm just reviewing the players um, as we always do over here. And there is a couple of hidden gems in here that I want to focus on over on eFootballDB in just a minute. But we will probably buy this pack and uh, I want to test out a couple of the players on it like in depth and play through it. But yeah, we're going to start with Genduzzi. Um, I, I don't think this guy is that good until I've come up against him. Or I didn't think he was that good until I've come up against him. His speed and acceleration... I think things have changed slightly. There's a slight change to the way that the players now handle and what's working and what's not. Like in V2.0, I would say, like the meta or what worked was always speed acceleration, even on your center backs. And then there was the kind of switch to the defensive awareness for your center backs being completely overpowered. I think they've switched that back down a little bit now. And I will have a video on what I think from having played the game. Uh, for a couple of hours and from talking to a lot of different people at different skill levels I think I know now how to train your players a little bit better for this update v2.2 update that's out at the moment it is changing a little bit but this guy's got some incredible player skills lads like absolutely insane player skills man marking interception if you're going to be buying the pack uh for this guy I wouldn't I'd say don't bother because he's you know there's there's a dime a dozen of guys like this that are box to box center mids he's a nice acquisition if you do end up getting this pack you definitely could train him up to have fairly decent defensive stats aggression and passing and dribbling which I think is very important now we'll get into that in a future video we've also got Koundé I've done a lot of reviews of Koundé he's been in a couple of the player of the weeks he's been in the Barcelona pack um We've had him, you know, once or twice. I actually bought his standard version and I had the other version of him. He's got, like, he's he's probably one of the best centre-backs in the game. So we don't need to focus too much on him. He's got a wavering form. He's got loads of on-ball uh, dribble or uh, attributes as well as soul control. He's got good dribbling. I would probably play him right back, personally speaking. He's not the fastest, but if you don't have Kimmich or you don't have Cancelo, I think he could be an end-game right back for you unless you have a legend like Cafu or somebody or Maldini. Um... But yeah, insane stats. He goes up into the high 80s, low 90s in all his defensive stats. He's got 18 levels to go and his speed is fairly decent as well as having interception and blocker. They're two vitally important attributes now to have as player skills if you are looking at defensive players, which we'll get into in another video. I have so many video ideas. Next up, we've got Kempembe. 
Obviously, Kempembe isn't on the World Cup squad as far as I know. He's been replaced by De Sassi. Um, but yeah, again, his acceleration lets him down a little bit. But also what lets him down is his dribbling and tight possession as a centre-back. Unless you're playing five at the back, which again, I keep saying it, we'll get into it in a different, in a different video. Uh, if you're playing two centre backs, you need to have two ball playing centre backs now. You know, it's not just good enough to have a speed guy or like a kind of dominant aerial guy. You need to kind of have all rounders to play out the ball from the back, depending on your play style, obviously. But yeah, he's got everything. He doesn't have interception, which is a bit of a pity on this card, but he does have blocker. He also doesn't have unwavering form, which I think is probably fair uh, because his consistency can be a little bit lacking sometimes. But yeah, everything else on this card is fairly decent, but there are a lot of other center backs there. Now, next up, we've got Griezmann, right? So we're just going to focus on uh, the players that we're going to be taking to eFootball DB, right? Lloris, lads, look, Oliver Kahn is 5,000 eFootball football points. You can buy him for free. You should have eFootball points saved up by now. If you don't, you can link your account and get a boost to your uh, coins there, and you can just play division matches and get Oliver Kahn next week. Um, if not, I would say buy the standard version Don Roma if you're not getting this pack because he's on D rating and he's an average goalkeeper at best, Larice. He doesn't have enough levels to make him meta or top tier. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. And we've also got Giroud, who again is a dime a dozen for centre forwards like this. Plus, we've got Benzman here, who, you know, absolutely obliterates him stat by stat. Now, Giroud obviously does have super sub, which is very vital uh, if you are looking for somebody in off the bench. And it's Giroud. I mean, he's a beautiful man. So it's always nice to have uh, him on the bench to come on and pop a goal in for you. But yeah, he is very slow. You're going to be looking at his heading ability here and his finishing. His finishing will go mid 80s and then his heading will be mid 90s if you train him upright. So it isn't a bad option. But yeah, Benzema is probably a better option to have, even though he's a bit smaller than him. Or even Yang Collar, if you're looking for a target man. Again, he's 5,000 eFootball points in the shop. Um, but yeah, on to the main kind of guys now that we're going to be focusing on over on eFootball DB, right? Griezmann is one guy that I've never really paid too much heat to. But this card, lads, unwavering form, super sub. He's got every passing skill that you could possibly want. But he's also got a load of dribbling skills. And he's got rise and shot. And he's got acrobatic finishing. Plus, he's got finesse shots down to a T with that curl. Now, I remember back in Pez 2016, I think Griezmann was probably my favorite player as an attacking midfielder. He was insane. Absolutely insane. Not the fastest, and he's still not the fastest. But he's got across the board very decent stats. Literally got amazing stats across the board. And we're going to go over here and look on eFootballDB.com and have, have a look at his actual stats right here right so this is the maxed out version of him that we've done him at 94 as an ss that will go up to 96 overall when you get that boost uh if you have 100 team play style or 98 team play style or more uh we've also have a video on that uh done already ball control 90 81 acceleration 86 tight possession 86 finishing and 86 curl you will be using griezmann basically as a Messi, like a cheap version of Messi. If you're not going to get in the Argentina pack and you want to get more most bang for your buck, if you play Griezmann like Messi, either on the right flank or in an attacking midfield role, linking everything together, once you get that left foot finesse shot away, you will be able to pop goals in left, right, and center from Griezmann. That's absolutely insane card. Like absolutely insane card. Next up, we've got uh Chumene, who is a monster as well. Uh, Chuamene, yeah, Chuamene. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how you pronounce his name, lads. I'm working on my pronunciations because you're all slagging me uh, about my pronunciations, my Irish accent. But yeah, Chuamene. Uh, feedback on the pronunciation will be will be uh, will be much much appreciated. But yeah, this card, lads. I'm really eager to test out this version of the card. I know there are similar versions of him around. Like you've you've got the. You've got this card that was here. You've also got this card, the Tusha Mene one, or the, uh, the player of the week one. Um, you've got a load of different cards that were here from the previous version of eFootball. So if you've got one of them, you've also a standard card with 38 levels. But yeah, I just think that this card, with the player skills that he has, everything going for him, I just think that he's just an absolute monster. Like you can see the difference in the player skills here. Uh, the boys are fixing that at eFootball DB. But yeah, this card looks insane. And obviously, if you are going to be trying to get him, you know, with the unwavering form, he's got good stamina, speed. Uh, everything is across the board. I have pumped a lot of stats into his defensive side of the game to get that aggression up. I definitely think he's worth it. Next up, we've got Hernandez. Now, this isn't the best version of this of his card that has been released, but I still think it's a very, very, very good card to have. He can play left back, as you see here. 
or left mid. Like, he's a very, very solid player. Um, and I think the biggest thing about him, lads, is his speed and his actual ability to get up and down the pitch. He does have, of course, a lot of other player skills, such as pinpoint crossing, such as uh, long ranger, fighting spirit, incisive run, obviously as a play style, uh, with speeding bullets. So there's a lot of going for this card. And I definitely think he will be in your team if you don't have it. I mean, if you're a newcomer to the game, this is the most bang for your buck that you can get for a pack, genuinely. Next up, we've got uh, Nkunko, uh, who again is a fantastic player. This is the guy that most excites me about this pack. I think if you're looking for one reason to buy this pack, it shouldn't be Benzema, it should be this guy. He's probably one of the best players in the game, lads. Look at the stats that he has. They're absolutely incredible. We've boosted up pretty much everything across the board to get 92 tight possession, 89 ball control, 88 dribbling, 80 curl, 78 finishing, absolutely insane 92 acceleration and 88 balance and then the rest of his stats like kick and power speed offensive awareness uh low pass really high he's got loads of player skills he can play so many different positions you can play him as an outright winger and have that speed and trickery or you can play him as a link up man and link everything together i think he's one of the best pound for pound players in the game i hope he does get to play in the world cup if he isn't too injured, I know that he took a knock in training the other day, which I thought was a crazy challenge. But anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this guy on the eFootball pitch. He's an absolute monster. His standard version of the card, lads, if you are staying free to play, genuinely, his standard version of the card can compete with Messi. Like, he's unbelievable. Just a little bit faster and not more as technical as Messi, and you won't have the shooting. But Messi's a very unique player to, to combine with. So, uh, But he is an, um, an unbelievable attacking midfielder. And he's almost on anybody player, any of the guys that are good at the game, they will have him in, in their squad. Trust me on that. And then second last, we have Rain, who is... Uh, Again, a very decent player, good tackling, good defensive awareness and engagement. His aggression lets him down slightly, not too fussed on that. But the big thing that lets Varane down, I think, is his dribble and his tight possession. That's going to be a slight concern unless you've got a really good ball playing centre back. As I said at the earlier, uh, earlier there, I will have a video on what I think you should be upgrading now when you train up players. Speed is good, acceleration is good, defence stats is good. Yeah, he's your traditional kind of centre back. If you don't have Van Dijk, if you don't have Koundé, if you don't have Kimpembe, if you don't have uh, Marquinhos, if you don't have De Ligt up at Meccano, any of those guys can slot in there. And last but not least, we do have Benz. So Benzema is a special, iconic moment version of his card. He goes up to a 96 overall uh, when you train him up. Deep line forward, his form is B, he has 42 progression points at 22 levels. Um, yeah, I mean, Benzema is a very unique player, lads, because obviously he's not the fastest, he doesn't have the best aerial ability, he's got 90 finishing, but there's a lot of players that have these kind of similar stats, you know what I mean? Like, if I was to think of an alternative, you could go with... You could go with uh, a lot of different people. You could go with like standard version Ronaldo, who's similar speed, similar finishing, similar everything. Uh, if you wanted a bit more pace, you could go with Lataro Martinez, who's like kind of like the same kind of go about him, who's just obviously a lot faster, uh, but still has all the finishing uh, skills and all that. So yeah, I would not be buying this pack for Benz. I definitely wouldn't be buying this pack for Benz. Um, I do think that like he is one of uh, the better players in this pack, but yeah, I think that he he's not worth buying this pack compared to like you know when you put him up to uh, Messi versus Neymar. Like I definitely think they're still the better options to have as the special version of the card. And if you are staying free to play, Benzema isn't actually that expensive. You know what I mean? He's not massively expensive. So yeah, I definitely would look at it in a way that seven hundred and forty thousand GP you could buy Cristiano Ronaldo. And you could buy one or two other players to link in with him instead of spending that much money on Benz. Like, I know his stats are good, but finishing is not that important if you can't get the chances away. Like, I have Marientes, and his finishing is really good, but he's very slow. So you have to change your play style. So that is it for the French pack, lads. Let me know if you guys are going to unlock this or not. I mean, as I said, you can stay free to play, buy standard versions with the GP. They're giving a lot of GP away. Um, so, you know, you don't even need to do it, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the review as well. We will try to get a bit of gameplay with it as well uh, quite soon if I do end up getting this pack myself. And yeah, that is it for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the giveaway on Twitter. And uh, that's it for me, lads. Peace.